Hey everyone, Guy DeMarco, and I'm here to talk to you today about a product that I've been demoing here for a while now, which is the Vortex Diamondback HD Spotting Scope, and this particular model is in the 20 by 60 by 85 millimeter uh, angled option. They offer both an angled and a straight tube option, and they have the 20 to 60 by 85, and then the 16 by 48 by 65 options. Um, I called up Vortex and asked them to send this to me. I have not paid for this. I do have to return it. Um, so these are just my honest opinions in this video. Oh. This First off, some cool options that differ a little bit than the traditional Gen 1 uh, Diamondback spotters are now they have integrated their focus tube like the Razor HD spotting scopes where it's integrated into the actual tube body of the optic instead of having the adjustable wheel up top. I thought that was pretty cool. One additional thing that I super like is that it actually comes, the mount, the ring that goes around is actually Arca Swiss adapter and it'll go right into your tripod if you have an ARC adapter tripod head like I have on this Leaf Frodo ball head here. Uh, you can also get the clamp that goes into your, your main Frodo's like your standard camera adapters. So very versatile, versatile on the type of optic that you, type of mounting system that you may have. Now another neat and interesting thing is it's got this thumb screw on the side and you can actually rotate the optic and you can actually it's got positive clicks in there so you know when it's at an angle so 90 degree 45 degree zero degree straight up and down so we've actually used that and I'll splice in some video or some pictures here of us using this optic like that I was sitting on the back of my tailgate and instead of having to like lean over and do something awkward I literally wrong knob I literally just sat there and looked down range with it at an angled position it was very nice um, I've been using this pretty much uh, in many different facets I've used it for the NRL 22 I've used it for PRS rimfire I used it at the AG cup I used it at the Altus shooting solutions Kestrel Fall Classic in October, the AG Cup in the end of October. Uh, the end of October, I took it to the Altus Shooting Solutions uh, Long Range Challenge Finale two weeks ago, and this was the squad dedicated spotter. Overall robust. Um, I have dropped it. I have banged it around a little bit. Um, that was part of the testing that I wanted to do. It does have the incorporated sunshade into the front of it. There. But I did try and beat this thing up. I, you know, I wasn't smashing it on the ground, but by all means, you know, toss it in the back of my car. It falls over in the wind, X, Y, Z, and it has stood up to the to the months of testing that I've had this. It's now uh, the beginning beginning of December, and I've had this thing since probably the big the end of July time frame. So I put it through put it through its paces. Um, you know, a, f a foggy morning here in Northwest Florida. Yeah, the lens would fog up just a small bit. Um, I put some anti-fog on the lenses and then I haven't had an issue since. Really happy overall with this optic and for the price point that it comes in at, which don't quote me, I'll probably put a little link down here to the actual website with the pricing on it, which we all know we could probably find that a little bit cheaper um, through some of our sporting goods stores, AG, AG Sporting Goods. Um, Cabela's, things like that. All right, as requested in the last video, I provided you guys with some side-by-side -side comparisons. So 20, 30, 40, and 60 power at some different distances. Here we have 515 yards. Next, we're going to have the center square in Ipsic at 840 yards, directly below Charlie 9. Had some pretty heavy wind and mirage, so the image is actually a lot clearer than it looks in this picture. And then there at the circle, we have a bear at 1063, 20 power, 30 power. 
pretty clear overall, in my opinion. We had no problem spotting shots on this over the weekend. And not only is this like an optic for, you know, throwing in your bag and taking on a, uh, taking on a hike or something like that. You can also use it in an outdoor application. Um, I've glassed some deer with this, some animals. When I was at the AG Cup, I was driving along the side of the road and sure enough, spotted a whole bunch of deer. So, um, got out, stocked up on them, threw down the tripod and then, you know, use the phone scope to get some image of uh, a doe and some fawns. Uh, another, another five miles down the road, come up on a buck, and he was uh, too smart and got out of there before I could get the image of him. But overall, really nice optic. Um, I haven't had any issues with it as far as you know anything breaking or damaging. I would say that my only, you know, my only concern was. The actual focus ring it's itself the mag ring on here uh, you got to grip it a little bit tight the rubber kind of slips on it a little bit but really like just grab it like a man and you'll be fine um, focus was really fine adjustments it was really nice focusing in on a on a target or whatever I was glassing at the moment wasn't wasn't an issue um, I got big old meat hands so grabbing this big wheel and adjusting it was uh, was pretty nice compared to the older version, which was a much smaller knob on top here. Really enjoyed the optic. Thank you to Team Vortex for sending this out to me to let me try it out. I'll get it back into the mail to you, I promise. And then I'll just have to buy myself one uh, post Christmas time. That's why we have reenlistment bonuses, right? Um, yeah, really like this optic. Works great for NRL 22, works great for the PRS. If you're into you know, the hunting realm of things, it's not extremely heavy. Um, you know, maybe just over a pound with my calibrated hands. I'll put that info in here as well. Put a whole, uh, whole write up on what this actually is, um, specs wise, cause I don't have the specs memorized, but overall really happy with the optic, really happy with the robust, uh, build of the optic. And it's, it, it's a brand you can trust. It's Vortex, the, you know, lifetime guarantee, no problems, no questions. Um, I've sent stuff back into them and they've taken care of me and uh, super happy. That's why I, uh, that's why I run 99.9% .9 Vortex. All right. If you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Please be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, like, share, Share it with your friends, share it in your groups, let people know about this quality optic that they can pick up and use for either NRL 22, the PRS stuff, the NRL centerfire stuff. If you're a bird watcher, if you're hunting, if you want to take some BA pictures of the moon, this optic is plenty capable of doing it. So once again, Guy DeMarco, hit that like, share, and follow button, and we'll see you guys at the range. Later.